Hello, my YouTube peeps, and welcome to my new channel, Snatter Jockey, Snarky Chatter for a Digital World. Now, some of you may already know me from my many rantings on Twitter and Facebook that are generally more political or world affair oriented in nature. Fear not, this is just about bitching. People have often said, family and friends included, you need to make a channel about this. Because people say you should do what you're good at. And I'm good at a lot of things, but I am great at bitching. And not like horrible bitching, but just comically bitching in a snarky way. My definition of snark is like bitter comedy. It's my life is a bitter comedy. So that's really, I mean, if you don't have laughter and you can't say shit that makes you laugh or twist something horrible and skewed into something that can at least make you smile or make your friends smile because you don't want to bring your friends down, then what's it all about at the end of the day? So that's what this channel is for. I promise you no political rants, no relance on anything that's really dicey in nature. Topics may come up, but they're going to be brief, aren't they, Bert? Yes, they are. But I got to get some shit off my chest. Now, on more than one occasion, I should probably warn you that you're going to hear some profanity. And I know what everyone's thinking. Oh my God, what if the kids hear? Oh my God, profanity is the sign of someone that's not an intellectual. Oh my God! I don't fucking care. And here's why. I am brilliant. I have some great fucking ideas. I have a lot of knowledge in a lot of subjects. But I'm not going to constrain my ass in this little online environment right now. And I know you're saying that's the worst thing not to do because this has a greater reach potentially than anything that you might do on a daily basis. Fuck it. I'm going to explain my love of profanity in a fun fact. So get ready. The fact of the matter is that studies have been conducted that show that people that utilize profanity have less stress levels in their body during certain situations. And they put some crazy ass ice on some people's arms and they watched them freeze the fuck off. And as those bastards got colder and colder, the group that got to continuously say the word fuck had a much lower level of stress. Whereas the group that had to sit there and silently tolerate everything lost their fucking shit and their stress levels went through the roof. So all I'm saying is I'm doing a service to my body and my heart by saying the word fuck or whatever when necessary. Now, this isn't how I have to talk in public. I can curtail the F-bomb as needed. I speak well in a business and professional setting. I'm amicable to strangers. I go out of my way to help people. Just the other day in the store, this woman's driving around in one of those wheelie carts, and she's enormous, so she clearly can't walk and push a cart. So she's flying through the aisles, and she's trying to look at something, and shit's falling off the shelf, and then she goes over to try to grab it, and then she almost tips over in the thing. So I stop that from happening, and I pick up the object, and I hand it to her, because I don't want her getting hurt. Turns out it was a blood sugar meter for diabetes, but... uh my point is, I tried to help, and I hope she gets that shit under control. Now, some of you may be asking yourself, why the fuck is she wearing that shirt? I'm here to tell you. Back in the day, oh, oh, wait for it, it's story time. Back in the day, I used to be a party hostess at a commercial children's entertainment facility, and they made us have some stupid fucking names. Now, people with normal names, they looked out a little bit better. There was Elizabeth. She became Queen Elizabeth. There was a David. He became King David. There was a girl named Amanda. They gave her the name Amanda Hug and Kiss. Not great, but not that bad. Nothing goes with Corrine. Nothing. And I don't even want to hear that it's spelled wrong, okay? That was my father's decision. My mother wanted it C-O-R-E-E-N. She got overruled, so people always call me Corinne. So if that's not bad enough, imagine a name where you're supposed to mix it with something, and then you fucking can't. Then one day, some crazy douche walks along, and he's like, oh, I think it should be Cookies and Corrine. First of all, it's Corrine. It's not Corrine. 
Second of all, that was kind of brilliant. So, 10 years later, when I'm working at a bar, they have us put stuff on our shirts. And I had to default to this because I was like, this is kind of fucking awesome. And people knew me by name. Worked out well. Topics of conversation that you can expect to come up are things like shit I'd like to see. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, like when you're in a store in the Christmas section and the little bitch-ass kids whose parents don't give a flying fuck what they're doing are letting them run willy-nilly through the fucking stores. They're going all batshit crazy and shit's flying off shelves and you're getting knocked out of the way. Guess what? Next time I see your ass round that corner, my foot's in the aisle and your ass is going to fly. Congratulations, parents. You just got a free schooling lesson for your little fucktard. Assholes. Now, fortunately, sometimes shit works out for itself. Little kids on wheelie skates sometimes find a little crack in the thing, land up on their ass. Thank you, Karma. Did it for me. I didn't have to do a goddamn thing. Yay! Thank you, PMS, for making my girls look like they're store-bought. My animals, like Bird here. There she goes. Come back! Rudeness. Rudeness from the bird. Why don't you go hang out with Bailey? My dog, Bay, he's a Weimariner. He's a feature. Sebastian, a.k.a. Mr. Binks. Say hello, Mr. Binks. Mr. Banks! Mr. Banks! Oh, you little fur machine. You little fur machine, you. Your face is mushed up and flat, so it's extra cute. Word merge, where I take two words and unintentionally use them in a sentence and then realize that that shit's awesome and I'm going to do it from now on. I don't know why that word wasn't already there in the first place. Fun facts, where I teach you something that you didn't know. You just got smarter. You're welcome. Story time, where I talk about personal stories from back in the day to present day because I generally don't forget shit. Snatterday, where I introduce new snarky chatters on Saturday, and I feel like you should probably participate by throwing out suggestions of shit you'd like to see me bitch about, because I can pretty much pull that off for anything. My excited anticipation for the next Grand Theft Auto, because they can't get that shit out fast enough. My love of wine, because there's never enough. Products I'd like to see on Shark Tank. My love of Stoli Vodka, because the Russians do that shit best. My love of science. There's nothing wrong with chicks liking science. You think I should be baking? Not your fucking hostess queen sitting there baking you a Twinkie. Snark waves, where I ride a beautiful wave of snark. It's pretty much the whole video, but it should have its own title. I have two Christmas videos I have to put up first. Because I sat on my ass and waited, deciding if I was actually going to create this channel or not. I do PR and marketing, and some may consider YouTube videos unprofessional. And I probably, if you were my client, would consult and tell you not to make this. Because you're going to alienate somebody. It's going to happen. Somebody's going to take offense to something. But this is the thing. I can't rein it in anymore. I can't. I've tried to play by conventional rules. I am a snarky person by nature. And some things, they just snark, snark. They just have to get out. And this is the only way to do that. So, contrary to conventional wisdom and maintaining and watching your brand, it's all out there now. So, congratulations to me, I guess. Or not. We'll see what happens. Ready? Say bye. See. bye. Wait, bye bye. Say we release new videos every Saturday. Don't we? And in the meantime, ride that beautiful wave of snark. Rudeness. Fucking rudeness.